A new Peacemaker Season 2 update from James Gunn set up a promising way to explain the show's jump to the new DCU canon. While the first season released on Max is set in the DCU, it's been confirmed that the second coming in 2025 will be part of the new DCU that's in development from new DC Studios heads James Gunn and Peter Safran. To that end, one new reveal from Gunn implies a very exciting way for how this jump can be easily explained. The first season of Peacemaker follows John Cena's Christopher Smith in the aftermath of the Suicide Squad. Joining a new team of operatives for Amanda Waller and Argus, Peacemaker and his new allies prevent a major alien invasion from occurring, before the Justice League even arrives. However, this was the old DCU League. Now, it's been revealed that Peacemaker Season 2 will be set in the brand new DCU which will largely have several new actors and stories, though the cast of Peacemaker and Viola Davis's Waller are notable exceptions. However, Gunn may have already revealed a key way the new universe distinction will be made in Peacemaker Season 2. Peacemaker Season 2's teased costume change shows a clear way to explain the DCU to DCU change. Explaining the canon through new visuals on the surface, this new image may just be a look at an alternate helmet for Smith to wear in the new season. After all, Chris did have an arsenal of various helmets he wore in Peacemaker's first season. However, it could also be the main helmet Peacemaker will be wearing in the new season providing a visual distinction between the Peacemaker of the DCU and the new DCU, even if their histories are similar. By altering costumes and more visual updates, Peacemaker Season 2 could make it clear from the get-go that it's set in a different reality than the first season. Peacemaker Season 2's design change makes James Gunn's DCU hopes easier to pull off. New visual updates beyond just a story explanation. Rather than relying on the story alone, Peacemaker Season 2 could potentially feature multiple changes to the show's visual design, an easy way of addressing the new universe for audiences. Likewise, Gunn has said that he doesn't want the universe-slash-canon jump to be too much of a focus in the new season. As such, simply tweaking certain elements like how the costumes look could be an intriguing way to share the load without demanding too much and overshadowing the new season's overall plot. It will be easier to move on if there's a visual signal of differentiation, rather than having to solely address the change in story.